Some people have diabetes, but they don't really know the types of diabetes that they have. I got a question on my DM from a lady who went to see a doctor and she was diagnosed of diabetes. But this particular diabetes is not related to glucose, it's not related to sugar, it doesn't require insulin. It's quite different from what you usually hear about. This particular type of diabetes is rare. So on this particular video, I'm going to be explaining this type of diabetes and the difference. The one we are very, very familiar with is the diabetes mellitus that has two types, the type 1 and the type 2 diabetes. So I'm going to be explaining the type 1, the type 2, and also this diabetes that is rare, that most people don't really know what causes it. So by the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of what the various types of diabetes are all about. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are content you are interested in, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Mercy Mary saying thank you. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurse's Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mercy Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with a Difference. And I talk about reproductive health and your health in general. But today we're going to be talking about diabetes. So the first one I want to let you know is that we have diabetes mellitus and we also have diabetes insipidus. So I want to talk about diabetes insipidus first. Diabetes insipidus is different from diabetes mellitus. And diabetes insipidus is not as a result of glucose and it is not as a result of sugar level and it doesn't require any insulin. Diabetes insipidus is as a result of a particular hormone in the body, which is known as vasopressin. Vasopressin is an antidiuretic hormone. This particular antidiuretic hormone moves from the hypothalamus into the pituitary gland where it is stored. It is stored in the pituitary gland. And when it is needed, it is released from the pituitary gland into the bloodstream. Okay, so what makes this antidiuretic hormone, this vasopressin, to be released? When the body doesn't have a lot of fluid in it, it is low in the amount of fluid it has. This vessel pressing helps to reabsorb more fluid into the body. But when someone is having reduced vessel pressing, this simply means that fluids cannot be reabsorbed into the body. A lot of fluid will not be reabsorbed into the body. This person then tends to pee frequently and tends to have tests and tends to be testy regularly. So this particular diabetes is as a result of a hormone known as vasopressin. It is not as a result of insulin. So that is why I said I'm going to be explaining this. For that particular woman, your diagnosis was diabetes insipidus. And it's as a result of a hormone known as vasopressin, which is low in the body. And I believe your doctor is going to give you some prescriptions, some medications, and tell you how to go about its management. But now, let's talk about the mellitus part of diabetes. Yes, what is diabetes mellitus? Diabetes mellitus is a chronic disease. It's chronic in the sense that it is lifelong. It is not a short-term period illness. It's a lifelong disease that needs to be managed. It occurs when the pancreas is not producing enough insulin or when there is insulin but the body is not utilizing this insulin. That is when you have diabetes mellitus. You can see the difference between mellitus and insipidus. In terms of mellitus, there are two types of mellitus. We have the type 1 and the type 2 diabetes mellitus. But first of all, let's talk about the diabetes mellitus, type 1. In terms of the type 1, what happens is that the pancreas does not make insulin. The pancreas is not making insulin in the body. And when the pancreas is not making insulin, there's going to be an increased glucose or increased sugar in the bloodstream. Okay, unlike the type 2. In type 2, there is insulin, but it is not sufficient enough. In type 2, it's possible there is insulin, but your body is resistant to the insulin in the body. All right, so that is the difference between type 1 and type 2. 
But for those that are confused, oh, what is insulin? What insulin does is that it helps to clear your bloodstream of the glucose. It helps to clean the bloodstream of excessive glucose. But when there is no insulin, it doesn't clear the bloodstream of the glucose. So that is why you hear, oh, high BMI, high blood glucose, high sugar level, you need to take some medication. So it all depends on the type of diabetes. That's what is going to determine the type of medication your doctor is going to be giving to you. So now you know the difference between diabetes insipidus and the diabetes mellitus. Now let's differentiate in a table the difference between type 1 and type 2. So let's differentiate them now so you have a better understanding of type 1 and type 2. Like I earlier said, in type 1, your body does not make insulin because the immune system has attacked the pancreas. The immune system has attacked the pancreas that produce insulin. So your body does not make this insulin again. But in type 2, your body makes this insulin, but it is not enough. Or it makes this insulin, your body is not resistant to the insulin that it makes. So take note of that. And the second difference I want to tell you is that mostly type 1 diabetes um, usually occur in children. It starts at the, like an early age, but it can occur, it can start at any age. But in terms of type 2, it can occur at any age, but it is more common above 45 years. All right. Then the third difference I want to share with you is that in terms of type 1 diabetes, there has to be a family history. Most times you see there is a family history of type 1. But in terms of type 2, it can be as a result of some lifestyle, it can be as a result of hypertension, it can be as a result of obesity. But for type 1, there has to be a genetic, maybe a genetics or a family history associated with that. Now that takes us to the signs and symptoms exhibited. They have similar signs and symptoms because there's frequent maturation, you go to the toilet frequently, there's increased chest and things like that. So the normal signs and symptoms you see in diabetes, that's what you see, they have similar signs and symptoms generally. Then that takes us to the fifth one, which is there's no known preventive method. You can't say, oh, if I do this, I'll be able to prevent it. But for the type two, your lifestyle can help you prevent it. You get, if you are slim, that doesn't predispose you to type 2. Your lifestyle, what you eat, can actually help you prevent it. If you manage your hypertension properly, can actually help you prevent um, type 2 diabetes. Then the other one I have to share with you is that in type 1, insulin injection is required. But in type 2, insulin injection might not be required. Lifestyle changes, lifestyle modification can actually help you treat or manage type 2 diabetes. But in type 1, you know, remember you don't have insulin, it's not being produced, so you require insulin medications, insulin injection. Sometimes these insulin in injections might be for life. Okay, so these are the differences. This is what I have to share with you in regards to the differences between the various types of diabetes. And I hope you've been able to understand. Key thing is that you know that insulin is very important in our body. It's the one that helps us cleanse our bloodstream of excessive glucose after eating. Okay, so that's the function of insulin. And when there is no insulin in the body, there's excessive glucose in the bloodstream. And that is not healthy for our lives. It's not healthy for our kidney. It's not healthy for our heart. It's not healthy for our body in general. So this is what I have to share with you today. And I hope you got value for it. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to share with a friend if you bought value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Messi Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.